I love the white people, okay? I love all races. But niggas, did y'all hear that? They followed them around too! Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, honey, because I'm about to be reacting to this public freakout compilation of 2022. And I haven't watched it yet. I let it play for like two seconds, I'm not gonna cap. Let's get right into this. In today's first freak out clip featured, we actually have a man with his wife or girlfriend going into a convenience store or some kind of small grocery store in the US with food stamps. Now, I don't know how this works because I'm from the UK. We don't have- I have a feeling I already know how this is gonna go, y'all. They're probably gonna be trying to like sell food stamps or like some, it's some, it's some bullshit going on. Y'all already have know. a system. So check it out, comment down below what you think and let me know whether you think this guy did the right thing or the wrong thing. Move, you can record all you want. I don't care. You're not allowed. Yeah, told you not. Serve you. Oh, hey, you how are, you doing I'm today? Good. Hey, I just came in. I got I a food stamp. Look, Dorian. Okay, you, they told me that. All right. The cops was here. Even when you called the cops, the cops told here. you, you're not allowed in here. Out. You're not allowed in here. Out. I'm just standing here. I wasn't here. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just doing what I was told. Shit. Bro, he already looked like he just full cap. He's so cap. Like, I could just look at him and tell he up to no good. Why he won't just go to a different Dollar General? Because that's it looks like that's where they are. You can literally just go to a different one, honey. Dang, you gonna get a trespass and charge? Don't be dumb. I am not doing anything. I don't. I, that's not my problem. I what was told to that do? you're not allowed in here. Call the cops. The cops are ready to do, Gabby. Out. Now. Now. I'm, now. I'm a loyal customer. I don't Can know what happened. Out? I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I, I have not done anything to you. I do not know you. I don't. Okay. Care if you know me or not. I, was I haven't told done anything to you. I haven't done now anything I'm to here. nobody. I'm just gonna record this and put you on blast because this and call corporate. Cause just leave. If they're gonna call the cops, just leave. Like, what exactly are you trying to do? Like, I I kind of don't really understand what's going on. But let's keep going. Corporate. That's what I'm going to do. Well, here. I don't know where you heard that from. Uh, do you have a reason why? There's no reason I why. My, my head boss told me you're not allowed to do this. This the devil right, y'all. This is, I'm a righteous person. I don't know what's going on. So although this man is actually stood at the till waiting to be served and kind of exchange his food stamps, this lady who I think is the manager is saying he is being kicked out immediately and cannot do anything else. He's ignoring her, however, he is staying very calm and he's not really arguing back. But this lady says she is actually trespassing him now and if he doesn't leave immediately, that she's actually gonna call the cops. Well, guess what? He still doesn't leave and it actually escalates even more to the point where it gets very tense. What I comprehend is happening is that he exchanged a food stamp card with someone else in line. That's a crime, cuz. Why are you filming yourself doing a crime? Like, what is up with these people snitching on themselves? Y'all don't need enemies. You're your own enemy. If the lady said to leave, just leave. Don't leave. No, you need to leave. You already trespassed. You going to jail, honey. You going to jail. This freak out. <laughs> but seriously, though, I'm finna, I'm finna walk out of here. Okay, y'all? You can go, ma'am. It ain't no problem, bro. I ain't got no problem. I'm not a problem. Never a problem, bro. I don't even know you. I don't want no problem. I used to work here. Right there when you turn around. So, um, I'm going to walk out. I don't know what's going on. This is my second time coming here. This happening. I'm just documenting this because I've come here many times and had no problem since Gabby. This is the only person that is causing me problem. This is the only person that is causing me problem. I don't know you, ma'am, but this is the devil, okay? I pray to God that you get over what you over, and I will be returning to this store to shop, but and I hope that she's treat me nice. You, I love you. Have a blessed day. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Don't bring God into this. And how dare you call her a devil, honey? She's just doing her job. This man is trying to return his sub because he is not happy with the order. 
I don't exactly know what's wrong with it, whether it's just not right, undercooked, or something's in there that wasn't meant to be, but he actually walks straight back up to the counter and says to the lady that he actually wants his money back. The employee serving him actually seems pretty stressed out and just doesn't look like she's up for this. She's obviously having a bad day and she gets very, very annoyed with him. Check out this video and comment down below what you think. Here's that. So, so, you're, so you're refusing to refund me? Oh my god, stop refunding me. Are you refusing to refund me? Look, I already told I'm already not liking this. I hate people who go and harass food service workers, honey. I told you that I cannot refund you. It's my manager's job. It's my manager's job. If my manager was here, then maybe he'd give you a refund. But I'm just an employee. I work here. Okay. And my job isn't to give you money. And it's not. And I don't understand why you're making a big point over six points. Six points. That's ridiculous. How old are you? In this next freak out, we have a lady. Was there a resolution? Probably not, because she told him like it is. In you this go, next freak out, we have a lady who's actually trying to get a refund on her reservation at a hotel, but it just so happens she really doesn't get on with the lady working the front desk. Mm, it's hard trying to get a hotel refund, especially if you stayed in the room, girl. You know you can't do that. With the lady working the front desk. It turns out they actually had an argument the first time she checked in, and now she doesn't like the place. She's trying to get a refund on her full reservation. This doesn't go too well and the lady behind the desk makes it a complete nightmare to her for trying to get a refund. Check this one out and comment down below what your opinions. I don't know. For cancelled reservation. Can you came right down to the front desk. You were rude to me. Yep. And you think I'm gonna do something for you? Okay, she ain't saying nothing wrong. She said you were rude to me. He said yeah. What you expect? I know you expect professionalism and she, she probably is gonna be professional. I have faith in you, baby. I have faith. But if somebody giving you attitude, you're not just gonna give them roses and butterflies. That's not how that works. I'm asking you about my reservation. I don't no, want I to be no charged. No, I don't no, want I have to be no charged. Answers. I have no answers. No answers? No answers. Okay. What did I do? When you, you should walk up here. You, you're rude. You know that? I didn't say it like that. That's exactly that. what you said. You're rude. Did yeah. you do know that? Yeah. After no. you've been rude. That's your camera? Yeah, it is. It's recording. Well, there's a continuing show me for the day when you're Yeah. Uh-huh. But you thought you was going to talk to me crazy and I still had to yeah. do my job? Is that what you thought? Yeah. Am I going to be charged? It's not going to happen. Am I going to be charged? I don't know what's going to happen with your reservation. Okay. Reservation. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Hey, well, I don't know about that one, girl. He got you on candid camera. You know what I'm saying? You can still pop your shit. But you, you can't tell him you're not going to do it because he's being rude. Like, you can't actually say it, right? You should have just said, um, I'm not authorized to provide you a refund. You'll have to get in contact with corporate. Hey, one more time for the camera. Thank you. Let me smile. <laughs> what, what's your name? <laughs> the lady in this red vehicle is a neighbor of the man filming. So this has quite a bit of backstory to it. This lady was actually sat in her house and she's watching TV while some of the members of her family were actually asleep in bed. It turns out it's like eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the evening. Obviously it's summer, so it's still light. But this lady decides to actually get out of her house because she notices a noise coming from a few houses down. It turns out that the guy a few houses down is actually playing baseball or hitting some baseballs with a bat right outside his house. This is causing a nuisance and is a very loud noise so Karen decides to drive on down and don't know why she's driving down when she could have just walked but anyway that's irrelevant. She drives down and has a freak out and a confrontation with this guy. Check it out because it's pretty epic. And taking photos? Oh, what? I'm reading You're reading smart news? Oh, that's okay. And your basketball woke me up. Yeah. I, I can't watch well, TV, so I'm listening to the radio. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Is there a reason why? Go inside. Oh, oh. I and our family. Here. I'll give you my phone. I know. That's look, okay. Look, no, I didn't that's take okay. Any videos of anybody. Listen. I didn't all right. Take any videos you can of go ahead and keep calling the police department on us if you want, just like last night. We're gonna keep playing basketball. At the... She called the police on them for playing basketball. Ooh. 
camera, honey. Around the same time every night if you want, okay? Obviously, this is actually a really awkward situation. And here in the UK, especially in the cities, they have these laws or like these policies where you can't make loud noise past 9 p.m. This works well, and I'm pretty sure this Karen was a bit over the top, seeing as she's actually driving her car down and not walking. And on top of that, she's pretty much complaining rather than asking nicely. Comment down below what you guys think, but there is a little bit more of this freak out left to play, but I just wanted to think and let you know that this is a bit over the top in my opinion. Way too goddamn long, and I'm getting real sick and tired of it, all right? We've lived in this neighborhood for years, years and years. Everyone knows how you are, unfortunately. We all know how you are. And honestly, I'm just getting real sick and tired of it because my family does not deserve this. No, no, I, I I saw you. It's all right. No. No, really, seriously. My phone. If I see it again, something's gonna happen. Just. Here's my gallery. Here's my gallery. Stop no. taking photos of. It's actually really weird because I don't know if you just heard him say, but basically this is the neighborhood Karen. Apparently she goes around complaining about everything when people have bonfires, barbecues, play sport outside, pass. When somebody say I know how you are, honey, that's how you know you trash. That's how you know you trash. You stuck in your ways, girl. You need to leave them folks alone. What's wrong with them playing basketball? Bitch, they could be shooting nine millimeters. They could be shooting AK-47s. They were playing ball. How is that hurting you? If your husband still sleep, bitch, go lay next to him. Put on some headphones, listen to some sleeping music. But you just out here harassing people because you ain't got nothing better to do. Find a hobby, boo. In today's next freak out clip, we have a man who's going around a grocery store and he's actually looking at some items when all of a sudden he notices out the corner of his eye, employees and member of staff are actually keeping an eye on him. It's weird because they kind of had these policies in grocery stores where they actually ask the security guards mainly, but sometimes employees to follow people around at random just to watch them. Now this is meant to be pretty low key and it's not meant to be obvious, but you know, some employees on $10 an hour aren't going to be professional spies, that's for sure. So this guy notices that one of the employees is actually watching him and he gets a bit confused and he confronts everyone in this store who works there and all hell kicks. Okay, hold up. I love the white people, okay? I love all races. But niggas, did y'all hear that? They followed him around too. That's wild. I wouldn't expect it. Would have never expected it. Oh, the art out check it out and comment down below what you think tell you buddy you got nothing else to do besides follow me around right that's the highlight of your day that's the highlight of your day i can get out of your store now you have nothing else to do besides just follow me around yeah for real yeah follow me around you think i'm gonna steal something it's kind of pathetic from the dollar store. It would be, right? Yeah, it but would do you be. think I'm gonna steal something? You wanna see how much money you have in my pocket right now? No, I don't $200? care. $200? So why are, so why are you following me around then? Why are you following me around then? Excuse me. Why are you following me around, miss? I wanna know. Tell. Tell to the whole world why are you following me around. No comment? Alright. Alright, I can leave now. Okay, I will, I will leave. I Mama embarrassed. There's no need to follow anyone around at the Dollar Tree. If you steal from the Dollar Tree, you probably really need. Don't they have loss prevention? Like, you know, in the Dollar Tree where they have that, like, little, it's like a little foil or a mirror or some weird funky looking mirror that you can't see inside, but they can see outside of. I know it's somebody in there watching the cameras. The manager has got to be in there probably watching. You don't have to follow him around like that. People like that are. But anyway, y'all, that's the end of the video. And thanks for sticking around. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Comment what you think. The ones that stood out to me is the lady getting mad about the dudes that play in basketball. Like, that shit, that shit lame. And then the dude getting mad at the subway worker. I think that's so goofy. Like, I support food service workers. Because I used to be one. But anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.